Ahoy me mateys, Arr. I'm gonna complete Assassin's Creed Black Flag with fists only. Yeah! How about no damage bucko? Yeah! Arr. How about no eagle vision me laddie? Yeah! Well, how about fists only, no damage, no eagle vision and stealth only? Yeah! Well, blow me down and call me a dirty Welshman. Are you ready kids? I can't hear you! Bye bye, oh yeah, ain't no way I'm gonna sing. So, can you beat Assassin's Creed Black Flag like a true assassin? When I say I can't take damage, I can't take damage. When I say fists only, it means bada bing and bada boom is making a comeback. Obviously, that doesn't apply when I'm commandeering my boat. Stealth only means whenever I enter this big red juicy circle, I can't engage in combat. And no eagle vision? Well, that means I can't use eagle vision. But hold up, I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh, how are you going to find a target on sequence 9 without eagle vision? Oh, how are you going to avoid taking damage by the tree on sequence 10? Well, I'll have answers for these burning questions later on. So let's go, baby! Aw, oh, shit! Two minutes in and I already take damage? I tried this about 30 times. Reload in checkpoint, restart in memory, even check some speedrunners out. But I just couldn't do it. Although, it is possible, but just not for me. You see that guy? Looks like he hit rock bottom. Well, that's me. And it all started when I took damage in the summer of 1715. Laying on the beach on my own made me reflect on my life in Swansea, South Wales. My sweet, sweet summer child, Caroline. I was a bum. I was a drunk. And all I ever wanted was one thing. I want food that don't make me sick. I want a decent life. And to think. In 2021, the people of Swansea, South Wales still want the same thing. But that one thing that I've only ever wanted was getting closer and closer. And that's when I realised I was washed up on a beach, laying with a man. Is this what my life has resorted to? We sat there, talked about our feelings, our wants and desires. 100 Eskimos. 100 Eskimos? What? Hold on. What about the Eskimos? So I gave chase before he could explain about his 100 Eskimos. I make sure to give him a vasectomy. Looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo! I stripped him naked and took his robes. I want a decent life. I made my way to the beach and that, that is when I met James Corden. He just wouldn't shut up about his damn sugar. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! What the hell? Why does he keep saying that? Take my sugar! Take anything you like! You know what? I'm about to say it. Take okay. okay. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Oh god! Wait, how the hell did he manage to speak? His neck was broken. I end up befriending the guy who loves his sugar. Hey, sugar. We set sail for Havana Unana. I climb to the top of the tower because the amount of times he brings up his damn sugar is getting obnoxious and repetitive, much like most of these jokes. Go, go, what, do what? What do you do? James Corden. James Corden. It's pretty obvious what you gotta do. You just need to eat the guy off the roof. Okay, joke time. Listen up. An Englishman and a Welshman head into the bar. An Englishman calls out a Welshman, and the Welshman responds with, I missed the part where that's my problem. Do you know what is my problem though? My overweight TV presenter friend had all his sugar stolen from him. So that means some stealth, baby. Okay, now gather around everyone. Let me fill you in on a little secret. It involves puckering up my sweet, innocent looking lips and blowing. But no, not the guards. Whistling is my secret weapon. I could be in the bushes, inside a confession booth. Don't grumble, give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for the best. Gotcha, bitch. After securing the sugar for James Corden, I sent him on his merry way. Where did he go? I don't know. Did he go back to his late, late show with James Corden? Did he go back to filming Gavin and Stacey? Or did he find something else other than his beloved sugar? No, no, no. But I'll tell you what I found though. My rule, get him broken. I have to use my pistols on these straw fill targets and there's no way I can possibly avoid this. So yeah, that's my rule absolutely destroyed. I joined the Templars because I like money and I find out the Templars have a tesseract. What? I meet another Welshman and there's an ambush. Not like I've seen you coming at all. Fists only is easy. But throw in no damage, and that's a combination that will turn mortal men into feral creatures. The normal soy boys were easy to take down. A couple of haymakers and back to the shadow realm they go. But hidden amongst the soy boys were the chads. These chads were annoying the heck out of me. You'd slap them and they'd come back with a little slice of a letter opener. 
Usually, the weak ones and the hard ones look different, so you know who to avoid in a straight up street fight. But here, the assassins looked all the same. My money problems are getting out of hand, so I decided to steal from the Templars. Like I said earlier, the whistling feature in this game is my safe in grace. As long as you're not directly in their line of sight, they'll never actually see you. Take this guy for example. I've been walking with him for the better part of 5 minutes. The guards here have no sense of awareness at all. You could literally jump down 5 foot from them and they won't hear you. Let's just say trying to steal from the Templars didn't go very well, because now I'm on my knees in front of a creepy old man. Remember Edward, swallow, don't spit. I wake up on a boat and I'm next to another man. Why do I keep waking up with strange men next to me? I think about my former peasant life with Padme Armadillo. I don't like sand. It's coarse. I smash out of my shackles, clean the salty taste out of my mouth so I can get ready for some whistling baby. The guards on the boat were somewhat retarded. Oh well, never mind. But Tarzan swings to the enemy leader and just like that, I'm officially a pirate. Aww yeah, give me some of those chee shanties buckle, give me some of that booty girl, give me some of that rum dog, give me some of those rogue waves boy. I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. I have been running around for 40 minutes. I just couldn't catch him. No amount of training could prepare me for this. Without my precious guns, this is impossible because with a normal playthrough, you just shoot the damn ocelots. But in this insanely, never done before, so original challenge, it's damn near enough insane. But then I approached a glimmer of hope, a beacon of truth, in a form of a tree. And thus, my challenge remains intact, baby. But even though my fists were equipped, he still uses his damn hidden blade. I meet up with the boys, Blackbeard, because his beard was black, and Hornigold. Well, they call him Hornigold because he's horny for some gold, baby! And it was time to recruit some pirates. So to avoid any kind of unwanted assault like earlier, I hired mercenaries and let them do the job for me. My best strategy for trying to take down two guards side by side was to throw a smoke bomb and choke them both out because they might be stupid, but they're not that stupid. You take one down silently, and the other responds with bare arms. So a smoke bomb is the way forward. It's okay, young pirates. I remember the days when I was on my knees with open mouth and cheeks. Me and Hornigold measure dicks, and of course, I had the biggest dick. Is mine bigger than yours? We take down a few ships, I meet back up with my mad lads. Still a mere boy, and yet, ten times the demon his father was. <laughs> Oof, yikes. Edward, that joke kinda fell flat. You want me to tell you what else fell flat? My rule, because you have to use your eagle vision on this guy. To make sure he was the right guy I was looking for, I put him to eternal slumber and that caused a desynchronization. So yep, that's my guy. After restarting the checkpoint, I stood next to him for a very long time before I gave up and broke my rule. I went back on my jack door, tailed the evil Templar, I listened to his conversations, Get your butt back in your office you and do your up. job. You shut up and get You out. get your butt back in your office and do your job. And now, I gotta locate the key holder, baby. Without my precious, sweet, sweet eagle vision, I have to find the right guy. Since I don't have a clue what he looks like, I kill them. I kill them all. After killing about 95% of the guards, I finally found my man. I loot the warehouse and I meet back up with the lads. I now have to tail another guy, locate him, and of course, he's hiding in his ship. This guy was a nightmare. You could just easily A assassinate the guy, but that would be far too easy. So when performing stealth on the boat, it becomes a little bit difficult because there's no places to hide, so the railings around the boat are my best friend. And there's no whistling either. And unfortunately, a slight pin drop alerts them. Unlike before, where you can make as much noise as you want. So my strategy was to thin out the hood, watch their walk patterns, leave dead bodies behind so that they will investigate it, and then I'll swoop in and put them to eternal slumber. Well, well, well. Look who's on his knees now. Look at little Goblin Jr. Wanna cry? I take over the fort, take out the main guy, talk to the guy who I serviced, tail him, and now this is my life. I didn't choose this life, but the life chose me. You see, I tried to tank them out, but those pesky chads are insanely annoying. On top of them deflecting every attack, they also treat this place like Call of Duty World of War campaign on veteran difficulty. What I mean to say is, they litter the place with grenades. Where the hell do I go from here? 
It's too late to go back now. Do I take damage and break my rule? Should I use my pistols and swords? Should I call it a day? Hell not, nah, because a familiar face emerges from the shadows and saves my challenge, baby. She attack, she protect, but most importantly, she keeps me erect. Okay, joke time. A Welshman and Johnny Depp walk into the bar. Johnny Depp gets a bit touchy-touchy with the barmaid. The Welshman tells Johnny Depp that Amber Heard is still getting work in Hollywood, and Johnny Depp responds with, <coughs> You know, aside from that joke being terribly unfunny, and just a way to transition, I've always wondered what my friend James Corden was up to. Is he still filming his late, late show with James Corden? Did he finally finish Gavin and Stacey? And why the hell did he appear in Cats? I just hope he's doing okay now. Oh wait, there he is. Oh. He's Blackbeard's side chick now. Oh, Apparently, everyone was starting to catch on to Blackbeard and James Corden's relationship. So, to defend their relationship, I decided to pitch in and help. And oh boy, I should have just stayed home. You got about 10 to 15 guys, which is easy enough. Because you could just hide and let the NPCs do the work for you. But when Blackbeard's got the health bar of a newborn baby, it starts to eat away at your sanity. So first of all, I ran in and got my ass whipped. Second time, go I got my ass cheeks clapped. Third time, go again. I tried to throw a smoke bomb and got shivved. The fourth time, go again. I used my big brain and threw smoke bombs. Unfortunately, I only had five at a time on me. But listen, I ain't upgrading jack ship, boy. But thankfully, Blackbeard and James Corden's relationship was saved. And it was time to celebrate, baby. When they say don't drink and drive, well, maybe you shouldn't drink and drive. Because I'm deserted on an island with my least favorite friend. Vane. Vane is like that guy in the friendship group who walks behind everyone when the pavement isn't big enough. After listening to the rambles of an insane person, it was time to yeet him off the roof. If you're an impatient person like myself, then this can be somewhat difficult. But I'll tell you what isn't difficult. Yeeting him off the roof. It was time for the mission that everyone is waiting for. Sequence 9. Are you on the edge of your seat, little one? I have to find Burgess and Cock Ram. And of course, I have to use my eagle vision. So to avoid that, I kill them. I kill them all. And yet, I still couldn't find them. I use my eagle vision and broke my rule. They were down in the docks, what? I reloaded my checkpoint and retried. First time, I ran in guns blazing with a smoke bomb and of course got caught. Second time, one of the targets managed to have some sort of protective shield around him, which prevented me from putting him to eternal slumber. So third time, I took out the guy who spawns near me, then two guys near the back. My smoke bomb tickled their anus and alerted them. So fourth time, I did the exact same thing but with an A assassination and a smoke bomb. And just like that, my challenge remains intact, baby. Benjamin Hornigold is next on my list. Back in the day when it all began in NASA, at that time with Blackbeard, we all said to each other that we would be friends for life. We even got a necklace that tore into three separate pieces so that when combining them all, it took shape of a heart. We were the tripod, and if one leg falls, we all fall. And that's the way it was. But as Nelly Furtado once said, all good things must come to an end. Blackbeard took an L, and Hornigold spent too much time with his beloved gold and turned him evil. And thus, I gotta put him down. Getting to Hornigold was easy, but putting him down was something that I never, ever wished to do again. To fill the void of my absent best friends, I recruited a Welshman. We both team up to find an ancient relic, yada yada yada, world peace. The Welshman pleaded to me to use my eagle vision, but I told him I was doing a challenge video for my YouTube channel. You got to clear the forest and the pesky guardians, which is no problem to me since I am a white man after all, so taking down native people in their homelands is in my blood. Problem with them is that they're always hiding in bushes. Usually, eagle vision would be used, so to get around it, no eagle vision, I'd get shot by them, find out where they are, then reload checkpoint, and rinse and repeat, baby. Or you could just pop your head out for two seconds and they emerge from the bushes, giving away their location. Okay, joke time. Welshman and a Welshman enter the cave together. The two Welshmen discover something amazing. The one Welshman says to the other Welshman, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. And knocks him off a cliff. No matter what I did in this segment, I could not avoid taking damage. I tried everything in my power, but then later realized it's part of the mission. So taking damage is necessary. Because I took damage and failed my challenge, I've been put in jail for my crimes against the challenge community. I tried breaking out, but discover my savior this year. Getting to my savior was the easy part, but saving her without breaking my damn rule was impossible. 
There's two guards cock blocking me from saving my beloved. Because they're shy and have some insecurities, they're facing away from me. So the first time, I lured one in with my whistling, but because the other guard got abandonment issues, he noticed straight away. So the second time, I hid behind a pillar, whistled to the other guard, and yet his friend still noticed. I'm assuming you just can't get past this segment without either one of their abandonment issues flaring up. My saviour went AFK, so I took her lifeless body and buried it Osama Bin Laden style, baby. And now, I get to seek revenge on the guy who I performed fellatio on, which isn't very hard by the way. It's practically a running simulator up until I enter this cave. A few hardcore parkour ledges later, and now, I'm here, staring at my prey. It's over Torres, I have a high ground. And just like that, my former masculinity has been restored. My wife does some karaoke and I get to reflect on my life, friends and what got me here. So can you beat Assassin's Creed Black Flag like a true assassin? Hell yeah baby. So if you liked what you saw and you want to see some more unfunny cringy challenges, then please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.